Welcome to Heavenly Minded Home and Happy New Year. So many of you have been around for so long and I cannot believe that a new year is already here. But to be honest, I have never looked forward to a new year like I am right now for this year. Most of you know our channel. We've been around for five years now and this past year has been the hardest most difficult on every level of life, hardest year of our lives. And our family has genuinely been put through the ringer. Now I like to get to share here things about being a homemaker, homeschooling our children, our families in ministry full time, just ways that God is working and moving in our lives and allowing this platform to be a place that we can connect and come to for, you know, just encouragement and sometimes just having somebody else to relate to that's like, yep, get it crazy too, right? And um, I, I'm so thankful for that. But this year has been, quite honestly, God awful for our family. That just, it is what it is. And we thought the end of this year was gonna kinda go, or end of last year was kinda gonna go one direction and instead we kinda got struck some pretty hard blows. And um, that's okay because we wanted to start up a challenge here in the new year. And that challenge being that we want to do a vlog the year challenge where yes, a vlog will come out every single day, Lord willing. And so that's what you're seeing here. Um, you guys can always go to our, our main channel page on YouTube and things are broken up. There's different things that are there and whatnot. Um, if you wanted to scroll through, if you're looking for something just about being a homemaker or just about um, homeschooling or, you know, series that we're going to be doing in our collective, which is our membership group. Um, there's lots of great things on there and so thankful to have the opportunity to share them with you all. But Every day here on the channel, a vlog is gonna come out. Just sharing, just having that relational ministry where we can do life together and we can share the the trials, but the the excitement and the wins and the just day-to-day -day fun that goes on is we strive to be a family that lives heavenly minded each and every day enjoying everything that the Lord gives us here in this life, in this world, but knowing that our eternity, our, our, our time to come is what it all boils down to. That's what matters. That's what we truly honestly live for. And getting to share that with you guys is just so much fun. I love that. Getting your guys' messages. Always feel free to comment along as we go. I love seeing that. You guys, we've got links down in the description with our, our newsletter and freebies and all kinds of stuff. You can check it all out down there. We have a lot that we're working on, a lot that we're praying over, a lot of unknowns going into this year. And I'm excited to see exactly where that goes. So today I wanna to share with you guys some goals that we are kind of setting for our family um, here in this new year, just kind of family-wide, this is what we're looking at. And then each and every day, a new little video is gonna pop up here. So when you subscribe, make sure you tap that bell notification to get these updates as they come out. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee, go make some breakfast for my family, and then Let's set some family goals. Ready?
had to realize that we were out of bacon, so making breakfast consisted of some protein shakes, yogurts, cottage cheese, things of that nature. So anyways, easy time for me. Let's go do Bible. Our table here has been broken since like forever. We found a great deal on Facebook Marketplace. My brother just went and picked it up for this like old solid wood table. So <gasps> bye bye broken table. We've got the new one he just pulled in. So we're gonna get unloaded real quick and then do Bible.
don't do that. Stop doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, super duper excited, but the table is in, house is picked up, I'm trying to get ourselves back on track here a little bit because I'm telling you, this past month, the past few months for our family have been insane and um, I don't even know where to begin. And so I'm trying to start new year, trying to start off and get it together and try to get ourselves back on track. We are off of homeschool this month. Um, we are at the HMH co-op and we do two months on, one month off. So we're in our off month and we're like, that's great. This gives us a chance to reset and we'll share all of it with you guys. But that's our goal. Get ourselves reset. And part of that is figuring out these just family goals. We sat down and kind of chatted a bit as a family. What are we, what are we striving for? What are areas that we want to focus on? And, um, you know, part of that is this vlog and kind of sharing that, how our family's doing it. Not that you have to do it like our family, but just sharing how we're doing it, where things have been difficult. Things haven't been going well. We have a lot on our plates and a lot that we're just praying that we can get through and get through in a way that truly does serve and truly is meaningful. I don't want to waste all my time, right? Like life is short. We're not promised tomorrow. You know, I, I want to enjoy what we have put before us and get through the hard times and come out better on the other end, right? So what are these things as a family that we want to kind of set those goals? I'm going to share later this week about like homeschool specific and with the kids specifically things we're working on. But as a family, what are some areas that we want to set a goal in an area of focus to really work on and grow in as individuals and as a family all together? And these are the five things we came up with. We said, first and foremost, we want to make sure that we have got quality time together. This past year has been so difficult on us. Um, my husband has been struggling with horrible, horrible depression. Um, January 1st is the one year anniversary since the, the loss of his brother due to suicide, which was just so hard on our family and on my husband specifically. Um, we have been dealing with so many family things, literally on all ends, my family and his, that quality time together really did take a hit this past year. We tried and we did great sometimes, but that's an area that we want to do better in and that's going to be a top priority for us this year. Second thing would be to build a family business. Um, there's a few ways we're going to be doing this, a few ways we're going to be looking at this, um, and I'm excited to share that with you guys this year and really pray over this uh, stuff that we're doing here, like with the family ministry and the vlog and everything here with the channel, um, with our collective and classes that we're doing and different fun things, um, with the HMH co-op that's been growing, that's been so fantastic, but also our son, he just turned 18 this past fall, and him and my brother are going to be starting a business together and so we've got a lot going on that we're working um, with them to help them set up and do so um, I love you know kind of seeing that cottage industry and working together as a family and um, being able to do that so super excited to be doing that the third thing is going to be our weekly hikes that is absolutely a family goal we started it last year January 1st was our first day we did great until summer hit and we really just fell all apart. So uh, we want to get back on track with weekly hikes. We love doing that. It's so much fun. Um, like I said, we did great for a while last year and then we got off track. We're going to get back to that. You guys are going to get like lots and lots of hiking footage. Absolutely. The fourth thing would be having a daily focus. For those of you who have watched our vlogs for the past five years, you've seen a lot of um, when we've homeschooled or vlogged through our homeschool days and we've done like the whole year. Um, we used to have a thing where we had like a daily focus. And I really liked that where each day, like we had one day was like, you know, tea time and one day was nature journaling. And, you know, we kind of gave this like one focus for the day. So instead of me feeling like I'm juggling a ton of things and I'm trying to fit a little bit of everything in, we want to give each day kind of like a theme, which I'll be sharing with you guys how we set it up and how it goes, where we give each day this theme and this focus that um, not just for homeschool specific, but for our whole family, we're like, hey, this is what we're going to focus on today. This is our, our goal for the day, what we're going to work toward to help us kind of balance 
work, of ministry, and everything that we have going on, and also just, you know, date day, and special family time, and hiking time, and all this different stuff. So really excited to bring back in these daily focuses. Um, we've taken a break from them for a while. Different seasons call for different things. I think we're in a season that a daily focus will be very beneficial. And then fifth and foremost of our family focus is really looking at the heart, right? You've always got to get to that root. You can address surface stuff all day long. If you never get to the root, you're really not making any changes. And so kinder attitudes. Especially with this last year, all of the stress, all of the heartache, there has been death. There has been financial turmoil. There has been our house literally falling apart around us. There has been crazy family chaos. The stress levels, um, if you guys saw my last vlog that came up, it was about the hives. I think the hives were brought on. I literally, from my like neck down, was covered in hives for like a week. And then it took me about another week to recover. Um, but... Yes, it was brought on by something that I used. We did figure that out. That is what it was. I honestly think the amount of stress that I was under caused the itching to take so long and caused, you know, was a huge key factor of why it was so drastic. Um, the, the stress, the being short, the, you know, all of this, it just, it, it's just, my husband and I have been filled with it. It's been so difficult with everything that we've faced. We have, you know, tried to do a good job. We've done good sometimes, failed other times. And that's really played off on the kids too. And we're seeing these shorter attitudes and just, you know, people talking unkindly. And, um, you know, we want to address that root. And I want to make sure that, you know, we all know how we need to be and how to live as examples of Christ and, and all of that. And we don't always get it right. And not saying that we are always going to get it right, but we do want to make sure that we're addressing that root in all of this. So that way we are striving to be kinder, be gentler, um, more forgiving, more loving, more encouraging. And so that's definitely here on our list of family goals that we have. And um, I'm excited. It's a new, new page on the calendar, right? New year here. And let's do it. Let's see what God has in store. And we're going to bring you guys along for the whole journey. So I'm glad you guys are here. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to go enjoy my, you know, tidied up house and my new table um, that isn't broken. And that's super duper exciting. And it was a steal on Facebook Marketplace. That's so awesome. I always love finding something secondhand. So I'm going to go and enjoy my day, with my family goals all laid out, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Whoa, did we just become best friends? Because I think we did. I'm so glad you hung out with me. High five. I appreciate it. Some more videos if you want to watch. A subscribe button that should pop up somewhere if you want to come. And, you know, make sure you tap the little notification. See when we got new videos coming out. I would greatly appreciate it. It was fun hanging out with you guys. Come see us in whatever else you watch that we're doing. And, uh, you know, we'll have a good time.